Well, it's 96 degrees. And tonight, it's supposed to get down to the mid 70s. And believe it or not, it's supposed to be a clear sky. We haven't seen too many clear skies and it not being outrageously hot. So I am incredibly, incredibly happy that we are probably going to be able to actually shoot something tonight. Maybe. We'll see. First thing I gotta do though is set up the scope. And the first part of that is getting my mount, which has been sitting in this case now for about, oh, I don't know, four or five months. Time to get this guy. At least set up. There are three um, bolts here that hold this tripod head to the pier. And so using this bubble level right here, I can adjust the height so that the bubble level is right on. And right now that bubble level is right on center. Now it's like figuring out what everything's connected to. And making sure that everything has a connection. I've got everything on. So let me kind of walk you through what I got for this year. Of course, I'll start off with the electrical system here. I've got this Ninja battery here. Like I said, it has a 12 volt, eight amp uh, lighter connection. It's got these two 5.5, uh, I think they're 5.5s, um, 12 volt DC, um, four amps and there's a bank of three here and then I've got a USB bank here which is one amp um, and then I've got two other ones here which are um, three amps and there's two of those and then I've got an AC connection then of course I got emergency lights if I so need so that's my electrical system and of course this is just a plain old-fashioned um, I don't know, just a plain old fashioned um, extension. We'll switch on it. And then for internet and network connectivity, I have my TP Link Deco. And we got a green light, so we're good to go. And then my mount here, of course, is the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. Um, I've got the uh, QHY CCD um, Polar, uh, what do they call it, uh, Pole Master, which goes on there. And then of course, up here, the business end, this is my new AstroTech uh, 80 um, EDT, which is a triplet, which I'll be, hopefully, once I get this thing, but, um, got the focusing down will be able to, I don't know if you guys can even see in there, 
but it's an apochromatic triplet. Um, 80 millimeters, got a focal length of 480 at f6. Um, my Savoni, SV Boney, was an 80 millimeter, but it was an f7, so it was 560, so this is a little bit wider. And of course, I've got uh, EAF from ZWO. And then for my guide scope here, I've got a Skywatcher EVO Guide 50ED, uh, which I'm anxious to try out tonight as well. Hopefully I get better guide scars, better guide stars. And I don't know if it's anything in there or not, but anyways, there she is. Um, it's got a helical fo focuser, but it seems like the helical focuser is a little bit nicer than what I had. And I should be able to then lock in where my focal point is, I believe. we shall see and of course my guide camera is a Neptune M um, from player one uh, cameras and I've had no problems with this camera it's worked out really really well and then I've got a quieter 2 uh, right here mini PC from melee M-E-L-E. -E. Uh, it's got an SD card slot, but it's also got in there. Um, what else do I got in there? Um, I've got a NVMe uh, RAM stick. I think it's uh, um, might be half a terabyte, uh, so that I can load all my um, all of my subs on there, and then I use uh, X Copy uh, to copy them all over to my uh, PC. And of course, I've got Pegasus Astro uh, micro, uh, micro Power Box, Pocket Micro Power Box. And I don't use dew heaters because it's never that damp here. And then over here, i got a Pegasus Astro uh, Falcon Rotator, which took me a little while to get used to, but now I love it. And then of course I've got um, electronic filter wheel. Uh, this is a seven position. So I've got all my LRGB as well as my HSNO in here. And then of course ending up with my ZWO 2600mm Pro, which is my uh, mini camera. My uh, Astro camera is 26 megapixels. Uh, it gets really nice photos and what else do I got here I've got a USB 3 hub right here um, I've got some devices plugged into here and I'll plug in my pole master um, when I get done when I get ready to pull or align I'll put in my pole master but that's pretty much it that's that's it is that's it for my wide angle kit so everything's turned on. So now I can sit down and just kind of run through my software and make sure that everything is up and running. And that's what I'm going to attend to next. Okay. You can kind of see me, I hope. And we've got guiding setting up. I went through the autofocus routine. It worked just fine. I used the same autofocus um, routine for um, Alaskope, and this seemed to work just fine. Uh, we plate solved, and now we are doing guiding. And, uh, get rid of some of the starting stuff. Some of the starting stuff gets really bad. So now we're doing autofocus routine again. So it's in the autofocus routine right now. Guiding's great. We're at 0.47.
that's point four. No, we jumped up to six. Six. No, we're at point three three. Pretty good. Okay, we're auto focused. Now we'll get our first shot and triangulum. You can six seconds. You can barely make it out right there. So let's see what it looks like after. I think we're doing 240 second, um, which is four minute exposures. So let's see what we get after our first four minute. Um, or on luminance filter. Yeah, we're in luminance filter. Let's see what we get. Yeah, we're at point fifty four. Guiding. It's great. Especially with a four hundred and eighty millimeter scope. You can't complain. That's why I like this EQ6R Pro. Uh, once I fine-tuned it, um, I had to replace all the bearings and regrease it. But once I did that, she's really been performing well. I mean, I haven't had any complaints. And we got our first. Look like it's in focus. Maybe it is. It's in the corners. Okay, so let's go in the middle. There's triangulum. Oops. Mister. There we are. There's triangulum. Okay. That's that's a four minute exposure, 240 seconds. So my guess is I'll, I'll be shooting this thing all night. Um, I'll be shooting this thing until probably uh, four o'clock in the morning. So yeah, so I should get enough subs. Uh, I'm also shooting some HA in there too. Anyways, if you like this and want more stuff like this, just go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below. Click and subscribe and hit the little notification bell so that uh, you get notified when uh, things like this pop up. And um, uh, we'll talk with you all later. And uh, clear skies.